The Great Racist Migration of 1964. Many conservative pundits stress that the Democratic Party was the party of slavery and of racism. And they're absolutely right, up to a point. And that point is 1964. Because in 1964, party affiliations in the South changed quickly and dramatically. There have been 41 presidential election cycles since the Republican Party formed back in 1856, not counting the 1864 election, which the South sat out because of the Civil War. From the beginning of the Republican Party until the election of 1960, the 11 states of the Confederacy voted Democratic in 85% of presidential elections. But from 1964 onward, they voted 76% Republican. Not quite a direct flip-flop, but a big swing. In 1964, Republican nominee Barry Goldwater ran a campaign that staunchly opposed civil rights. I would remind you that extremism in the defense of liberty is no vice. But this proved far too extreme for most Republicans at the time including Richard Nixon, who notably withheld his applause. Goldwater won his home state of Arizona and lost every other state, except for the five former slave states that comprise the heart of the Deep South. Up until 1960, these states voted Democratic 89% of the time. But in 1964, they flipped red to oppose civil rights. And since then, the Deep South has voted Republican 83% of the time which is pretty remarkable, especially considering that since the Civil War, the 11 states of the former Confederacy have always gone to either a Democrat or a Republican, with two notable exceptions. In 1968, the election after Barry Goldwater went down, four of the five Deep South states, plus Arkansas, went for George Wallace on the American Independent ticket. And we all know what that was about. And I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. The other exception was back in 1948, when four of the five Deep South states went for Strom Thurmond on the states' rights Democratic ticket, which was founded to fight desegregation. There's not enough troops in the army to force the southern people to break down segregation and admit the Negro race into our theaters, into our swimming pools, into our homes, and into our churches. The Dixiecrats lost, but Thurmond stayed in the Democratic Party until 1964, when he became a Republican in order to endorse and campaign for Barry Goldwater. Strom Thurmond remained a Republican senator for another 36 years. So, why did the majority of racist Southerners defect to the Republican Party in 1964? I think we all know the reason for that. Economics. Wait, what? Yes, I said economics. In particular, free market economics, which moved rapidly from the fringes to the mainstream of conservative politics during the 1960s and 70s. And how exactly did free market economic theory convert and galvanize the racist South? It's all just a part of the long con. <laughs>